Microsoft Stream is the enterprise video portal that you have in Office 365. In this video, we are going to create a group, a group channel, where we're going to add our new created group, which means that only the people within this new group will be able to watch videos from this channel. From your Office 365 homepage, assuming that you have a stream license, click on the stream tile. And we are now on the stream homepage. To create a new group, click on Create and then choose Group. Give your group a unique name. Note that this is giving a group email alias because this will create an Office 365 group in the background. Give it a description if you want to. And now it's time to choose the access level. Use the drop down menu and choose if you want this to be a public group or a private group. We'll choose a private group. You've got the possibility to allow members to contribute by uploading some videos if they want to. And let's add a few members to this team. Once finished, click on Create. Now it's time to create our channel. Click on Create and choose Channel. Give your channel a unique name, as well as a description if you want to. And for the channel access, keep the group channel selected. Select the group that we just created, upload a custom image if you wish to do so, and click on Create. Now our new group channel has been created, let's upload a video. You can drag files or click on the Select More Files link. Choose your video and click on Open. While your video is uploading, update your metadata, give it a description, choose a language spoken in the video if you want to add a transcript. On the permissions section, you can choose to allow everyone in your company to view this video, but we only want a specific group to be able to watch those videos. And the group name Techies is already part of the viewer section. Click on options. Here you can allow people to comment on those videos, create a transcript file, or even add a subtitle file if you have one. Once happy, click on publish now. And the video has been published. Let's go back to the home page. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see that the new channel has been created and the video uploaded as well. I'm going to log with an over user who's not part of this group and see if security trimming is doing its job. Here I'm logged with an over user who's not part of this group, but has a stream license. Let's click on the stream tile and note that the channel nor the video is available for this user to watch. But what happens if I know the URL of the video? Well, let's find out. I'm going to paste the URL of the video directly and see what happens. Well, security trimming is doing its job properly. Thanks for watching.